In the updated version of the document, aggression against Russia by any non-nuclear state, but with the support of a nuclear state, is proposed to be considered as their joint attack on Russia. Russia will also consider the possibility of using nuclear weapons when receiving reliable information about a massive launch of means of aerospace attack and their crossing of our state border. This includes strategic and tactical aircraft, as well as cruise missiles and drones, hypersonic and other delivery vehicles. Russia reserves the right to use nuclear weapons in case of aggression, including if the enemy, using conventional weapons, poses a critical threat. It is important to note at this point that these are at this time proposals, proposals to amend Russia's nuclear weapons use doctrine. We heard from Vladimir Putin multiple scenarios in which the rules and regulations governing how Russia can use its nuclear weapons will change. The first scenario is if a non-nuclear power attacks Russia with conventional arms but poses uh, a grave or, or critical threat to Russia's sovereignty, uh, the Russian leadership will be able to use nuclear weapons to neutralize that threat. The second scenario and how things will change is if that non-nuclear power that is attacking Russia is aided, supplied, abetted by a nuclear power, then that nuclear power will be considered uh, a party to this conflict, so uh, a, a joint attack on Russia, which will mean Russia will be able to use nuclear weapons uh, both on the non-nuclear power and the nuclear power that it will consider attacking it. Also, uh, Russia will be able to use, preemptively perhaps use, uh, nuclear weapons if there is verified information, proof that there is an ongoing attack on Russia uh, using aerospace, uh, aerospace assets or, for example, a mass launch of drones. Again, I must mention that these are, at this time, are proposals on how Russia's uh, uh, first use of nuclear weapons, its nuclear doctrine, uh, will change. Nevertheless, this is a stark warning to the West that are the latest in a slew of such. Previously, Vladimir Putin had come out and said that if Western, advanced Western missiles with great ranges are supplied to Ukraine and used against Russia to, uh, for strikes deep into Russian territory, then those countries, the United States perhaps, or Great Britain or France, which supply Ukraine with, uh, with extended range missiles, that they will be complicit in an attack on Russia. Russia has brushed off their arguments that uh, they merely hand these weapons over. Russia says it has uh, evidence and there is no way that Ukraine can plan, launch and use these weapons without uh, Western, well, without, without NATO troops uh, being involved, without Na NATO technical staff being involved, without uh, NATO intelligence and NATO satellites being involved. But this comes at a dangerous time, at a time when Many Western leaders are, are saying, ignore uh, Putin and Russia's warnings, supply Ukraine with these missiles, uh, and undoubtedly, even though they won't change anything, undoubtedly, uh, Ukraine, they believe, will be able to uh, resist Russia further. An argument that both military experts and the Russian government uh, have said is in itself uh, senseless.